Hi. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm so excited. Guess what? We get to play Horse Ranch. It's finally time. The day is actually here. <sighs> Show horse. Okay. Hold on. Show horse. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. We have horses. Also, we have a cat. <laughs> she doesn't have any clue. Although I will say earlier today, I've, I've been recording like all day. She was staring. I was, um, I filmed a video for tomorrow where I was doing like a rags to riches competitions thing. She was staring. Snap was obsessed with the horse because I was like training jumps. So it was just going over and over again, jumping, 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 and she was staring at it. <laughs> Snap loved it. Snap loved it. But anyway, hi everyone. Guess what? It's horse day. We finally get to play with horses. And do you know what? I thought that we were only gonna get to show off like horse videos today. I was expecting to just come in and do like a live stream of the early access footage from when I had the like temporary early access. But I have like full on access. I'm, I'm in the game right now. Like we can actually play for real. So this is very exciting. <laughs> um, obviously, quick disclaimer, I was given early access by the EA Creator Network. I have to put this on the screen because it's early access. I'm not being paid or anything. Um, they literally just gave me a code to the pack early so that we could play it together. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play with horses. Ah, <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't even know really where to begin, but I'll show you guys. I made a sim and I made a horse and I thought that we could do a little bit of gaming. You know, <laughs> that is that is, I think, my plan for today. So we'll we'll get into it. We'll show off some of the stuff. Um, but this is the horse that I made. I might have to turn my cat cam off for just a second so we can actually look and cast. Oh, you know what? Let me go. Um, let me go back and get into full edit mode in cast. Let's try that. Let's try that. Horse and cat cam? <laughs> Horse cam, cat cam, Kayla cam. <laughs> Hold on. Um, cast uh, full edit mode. All right, let's go look at cast. We can see the horse. Was there a video today too on horses? Yeah, I posted a video a couple hours ago on horses. If you'd like to go over and see it, it's on my YouTube channel. Oh, my sister is here too. My sister is excited about this. My sister has been waiting for this. <laughs> my sister is a, is a horse girl. I never said I was a horse girl. I might become one, but my sister, horse girl through and through. She always has been. She even said to me a couple days ago, she was like, this is bringing back my horse girl era. <laughs> my sister is the horse girl of the family. <laughs> I'm not a liar, Shanna. You even admitted it yourself. There's nothing wrong with being a horse girl. All the cool kids are horse girls. Like you, my dear sister. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, actual gameplay, not just footage. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. Uh, this is my horsey. Um, this is... Uh, oh. Look! People wanted to see it lie over. Um, but in cast, obviously, I don't really care to spend too much time in creative sim right now because I kind of want to play, but um, in cast, it's very similar to cats and dogs and stuff where you can pick like different breeds and you can pick all the different colors and you can paint on them and, and all of these things. Um, they have a lot of detail to them in Create a Sim. This is the one that I made. Did I give it any other outfit stuff? Aww, look at my little horse. I wanna have a bow. I like the flower crown in the hat too, but I don't know. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? Okay, unicorns. Oh my god, I can show you. Um, the so unicorns in the game. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. I don't want a baby. I want a unicorn. Unicorns in the game aren't really the same as unicorns in The Sims Three. Um, if you go and click on their head, you can add a horn to them, um, and it makes them sparkle. I don't know if you can see the sparkle effects everywhere, but the horn makes them sparkle. They don't have, like, special magic powers, but they do sparkle, and you can totally customize it to look like a, horn a unicorn, but they don't have special powers, which I don't really mind. I think the fact that they sparkle and glow is enough for me. Like, I'm kind of good with that. So... To me, that's fine. <laughs> I can show you, I made, um, I made a household with a unicorn. Wait, 
put in my library. Mm. I made a household with a unicorn to play with in my early access period. Look at my unicorn. I named it Glimmer. It's cute, right? Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that cool? She's got pink hair. Anyway, this is my best friend. <laughs> it's kind of cool though. So that's the thing. When people, I don't know, there was a lot of talk about there not being unicorns in The Sims 4, but they're like kind of is. They just don't have special powers, which I don't really think I care about that much. So anyway. <laughs> anyway, I think that we should play games. Shall I show you my, um, my sim? Let me delete these two. We'll come back to this. Let me show you my sim. So this is Ash. Um, I gave her a couple little outfits. She has a regular outfit and then like a dirty, I'm cleaning the barn outfit. <laughs> uh, we have our formal wear, athletic, sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. Um, and then this is my horse, obviously. My horse has the brave, independent, and friendly traits. Um, her name is Daisy. And I gave Ash the rancher, nope, the rancher and horse lover traits. And she's also got the new championship rider aspiration. So that's what I was thinking we would do. The outfits are so good though. I know, I, I like the cast in this pack. It's pretty good. I think it's cool. Let me go show you the house that I built too, because I made a starter home for us to use also. Um, there's no other traits that are new mystic, but there's two aspirations. There's the like horse riding one, and there's also a, a nectar making aspiration. Um, but this is the house that I built for us to play in. It's just a little starter home, so it's not it's not anything like ridiculously fancy, but I made us a little house. My horse has a little uh, stall back here. My, the lights are off, hold on. <laughs> um, inside the house, light all candles, please. Um, inside the house, it looks like this. Again, not that fancy. It's only a small little baby starter home, but anyway, I thought we could play here and try it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> um, builds were made by EA. No, the builds were made by Simmers for this one. Um, they're all really good. I, I bulldozed one so I could live here, but <laughs> they're really good. And yeah, I've got the other packs now. So this this early access is just in my regular game. I've got all the packs installed right now and stuff. Um, the pack is not officially out. It comes out tomorrow. I only have early access um, so that we could play together. Um, Simmer builds are so much better. Oh yeah, the Simmer builds are, are way better. <laughs> Can I put the house on the gallery? I haven't put this one on the gallery yet, but I could. Let me do that now. Um, let me put this up before we like destroy it by adding too many extra things to it. Um, I built a starter home with the horse ranch pack. There you go. Cause I'm probably gonna add stuff to it and then it won't be a starter anymore. <laughs> So I'll put it up now. Okay, okay. With that being said though, do you guys wanna play? Oh. I will say, um, I have played in this save a tiny bit. I brought this save over from my early access period when I had like the CFE version of the game that had no gallery and stuff. So I have played a tiny bit. We have horse riding level one. Okay, so not much. <laughs> I, I got like the tiniest bit of footage with these sims. <laughs> The tiniest little bit, but not really that much. So my sim pooped. Great. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Can you ride horses around town? Oh yeah. Loads. Um, my sim didn't poop my horse. My horse is a sim. My horse is a sim. That, I realize sounds bad. The horse is a sim. And other worlds, yeah. Guys, horses, I feel like people have really low expectations. Of course you can ride horses around in other worlds. <laughs> Why would they lock them to just one spot, you know? Um, so don't worry, you can ride them anywhere. You think of it as being kind of like a bike, um, but it's a creature that is living and breathing and, and exists, so it's better than a bike. <laughs> um, but it's like a cross between bikes and cats and dogs. So you can bring them anywhere, you can ride them anywhere. Um, it's a little bit smarter than bikes too, because the horses have more going on with them. So, um, take us to the other worlds real quick. Oh my God, you guys, we're never going to actually start playing. <laughs> I understand the desire to see everything. Okay. But bear in mind, there's like a million questions. We can go look at another world, but I think what most people want to see is, is probably the new world. <laughs> I think what 
most people want to see is the new stuff and not Willow Creek, but we I can go prove it to you, okay? Oh, Snappy. Oh, my cat left the cat can. This is the worst day ever. Okay, look. Evidence of horse in a different world. <laughs> you can bring him around, so. All right, let's go back. I want to see the new stuff, though. The new stuff is more important. Um, let's go to Chestnut Ridge. Snappy sensed the horses and she was like, I'm ready. <laughs> My cat has been really enjoying watching this stuff. Apartment horse? Okay, so a couple questions about that. Um, you can't put horses in apartments because horses can't go upstairs and stuff. Um, they can come into your house. So I built this house one story on purpose because I wanted, I'm gonna have it come work on barrel racing or something, but I built this house one story on purpose so that the horse can come in. <laughs> but if there's a snap off the keyboard, if there's, if there's stairs, they can't get up. So they can walk in flat buildings, but if there's stairs, they can't get into it. Uh, but the horse will and can walk through this door. <laughs> but they don't get upstairs. Um, this is me practicing some barrel racing. Um, is racing a skill and competition? Oh, I can show you that, hold on. So there, if you guys have any like very generic questions, I did post a YouTube video today where I answered like a lot of the, like the obvious stuff that you would expect. Um, but the horse competitions, there's actually a handful of skills. Um, so there's like the barrel racing skill is like an agility skill. Um, endurance racing is your endurance skill. It's from your sim like riding out in public. Um, there's a jumping skill. You can do a show jumping competition. And there's also a, um, like temperament skill, which is your Sims like ability to work, like the horse's ability to talk and work with Sims. And that's the Western Pleasure, Pleasure Tournament. And there's also an ultimate horse championship where you have to win everything and then you can enter that. So there's a whole bunch of different competitions. <laughs> um, there's a whole bunch of competitions that you could enter. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, let me get my Sim practicing a little bit more and then we'll get started. But yeah, guys, if you've got any like uh, very like simple generic questions, I don't mean to like ignore you. <laughs> it's just like the stuff that's gonna get asked a lot. I already posted a whole YouTube video on. So if you've got any like like obvious questions, you know, um, things like how do competitions work? I've got a whole video that you can watch because that way we can like actually play with the pack today. The YouTube video is gonna answer like all of your main questions. If you've got, if you wanna like watch stuff back and see how stuff works, um, the video has a lot of obvious things like that for you to see. Um, yeah, they can go up, the horses can walk up like a single level platform, but they can't walk up stair stairs. So if you wanted to make a staircase that horses could use, you could use the platforms to do it. Um, you could build like a staircase like this kind of, you know, and the horses could get up that. Um, but they can't walk up a staircase, which makes sense given they are a horse. <laughs> I don't know how they would be able to get up a staircase that skinny and, and tall. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't know. What should we do? Should we, you know what, actually, here's a thought. Let's get some goats. I want goats. I think that's my first, my first thought is that I want to get some goats. I want to put, mm, I don't know how to do this because my lot isn't that big. <laughs> my lot isn't very big for doing this, but we'll see how it works. I'll stick a trash can back there instead. Maybe we can make ourselves like a little, I mean, here's the thing also, the goats can go anywhere. So you don't really need to build a spot for them. Um, Cause they can just like, use this horse bed, the goats. But come back home. Come back home. Come back home. There you go. They're just slower than I wanted them to be. <laughs> okay, dismount. I want a horse. I mean, I want a goat. Oh my God, there's so much. I don't even know what to start with. This is the thing. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, I'm gonna get myself a goat and a mini sheep. Should we get one of each? I think yes. What kind? Because there's options. Pink sheep? Okay, pink sheep. The goats aren't as exciting color-wise. Maybe we could get a spotted mini goat and a pink sheep. Come here. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at my little guys! 
<laughs> okay, um, what do you want to name the goat? The default name is Blueberry, which is really cute. Turtle, Bubbles, oh, Bubbles! Bubbles is cute. <laughs> the pink sheep's default name is Marshmallow. What should we call the sheep? Barbie, Bubbles and Barbie. Oh, that's nice. I really like that. <laughs> That's actually really adorable. <laughs> okay, and then I'll try and talk to them. Can you fill this? Hello? Maybe it's too close to the rock. Yeah, they have cute default names, don't they? I noticed that the, the goats and sheep will eat out of this feeder because there's like some on the floor. The goats and sheep can eat that. Otherwise, you have to um, like bottle feed them and stuff, but that's okay. Also, I see a lot of people asking, where do the goats and sheep live? So the goats and sheep, you guys I think are thinking of it in very like cottage living terms where in cottage living, they're stuck on an object. But in horse ranch, they're not stuck to an object. They're sort of like free roaming. They can go anywhere. So you can make something for them. You could like build a pen and you can lock the gate for goats and sheep and stuff. Um, but they aren't like stuck to like a chicken coop. You know, they're kind of similar to the chickens, but they don't have a coop item that they're tied to. You can put them anywhere. So, like the cats and dogs? Well, not really like the cats and dogs because they're not a part of your household like the cats and dogs are, but more similar to cats and dogs than, than the um, chickens and, and cows are. And then you can bottle feed them and also like brush and clean them and stuff. What if you move? Well, they come with you, Mal. <laughs> they're not just like out there. Like they're, you know, they live here with you like the chickens do. Um, but they're not stuck on an object is what I'm trying to explain. Is the barn house a dollhouse? Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of discussion about that um, when the item list was published. Uh, people were trying to figure out if this thing was like the goat coop or if it was a dollhouse, it's a dollhouse. Um, also, when we had that discussion on stream, I knew it was a dollhouse. I just couldn't say that. <laughs> I did know. <laughs> I just wasn't allowed to tell you. <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, maybe it's a goat house. I think it's a dollhouse. It looks like the other dollhouse. It, it's a dollhouse. Um, the goats and the sheep are like, they don't have, they're not stuck on an object like that. So. <laughs> Yeah, the goats and the sheep can run away. Just like the other animals, if you don't take care of them, they run away. They um, they can die of old age. Like, same as the cats and dogs and, like, the cows and stuff. They can't die from anything bad. <laughs> um, they can only die of old age. And if they're, like, not being fed or if they're not being clean, they'll run away. Just like the other stuff would, so. Do you need cottage living to shear sheep and milk goats? No, so this is a fun thing that I'm seeing for the first time. If you have cottage living, you get milk from them. If you don't have cottage living, you get simoleons from them when you milk the goats. But if, if you only have this pack, you just get money from shearing or milking them. But if you have cottage living, then you get milk and you get wool and stuff, which I think makes sense. I think that makes sense. Um, cause there's not, there isn't a reason to have, like, milk from the pack otherwise, so. And the milk gives you money, so. <laughs> um, I don't know if Cottage Living treats work on them. I haven't, I haven't had Cottage Living installed with this pack until right now. This is my first time playing with Cottage Living and the horse pack, so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know. You know what, actually, I'm gonna hire a ranch hand. Thoughts on this. When I played this before in my early access period, I married my ranch hand because I didn't feel like finding someone else to date. So I just dated the ranch hand. <laughs> um, so maybe we could do that again. We could just hire a ranch hand and then date them. Whoever they are, that'll do. That will do. <laughs> Where did my other little guy go? Oh, the sheep was in the house. Okay, maybe I should build something for the sheep. <laughs> maybe I could make, like, attached to this somehow. We can make a little spot for the goats and sheep to be in. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. This is kind of a tight squeeze, I must say. But that's okay. That's what you were gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're all about to do that. We're all like on the same page. Let's just let's just marry the ranch hand, you know? That's fine. No, don't do that. I'll give them a lower one. How about this? And then I can keep the goats and sheep in here and they'll be set her off. Okay. Refill feeder. Can you come here? Bubbles. No, no, not you. Oh, Daisy. Maybe I'll pick them up and put them back in here. I usually, when I play this, I haven't been locking my goats and sheep anywhere. But maybe I will this time. Also, hi, George. <laughs> Actions, put in inventory. Where'd the sheep go? Oh, there it is. This is the problem. Oh, it's my ranch hand. Oh my God. Hi. Riku. Look, I'm not gonna date you yet because I've got other plans, but I think, I think that um, <laughs> I might be uh, <laughs> using you. <laughs> okay, I have them both. Let's put them in here. Place, no, come here. You can like video gaming, that's fine. This pack is giving romance novel. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Place in world, place in world, okay. There, now they're safe. Lock for all mini sheep, all mini goats. Okay, there we go. Better, now they're safe in there. I don't need to worry about it too much. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The ranch hand's talking to my horse! All right, I'm gonna try and talk to my horse. We need to practice riding. I don't even know where to begin with this, to be honest. Uh-oh. Hold on. Cat's tangled in my headphone cords. Sorry, Snap. My cat's laying on my desk right now. She's... <laughs> my cat really, really likes watching the game. She's really, really enjoyed watching the horses this whole week. I'm so sorry to EA, but I actually... I, I did show my cat the horse pack before the embargo lifted. I know. I know. She didn't sign an NDA. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My my cat has been watching this entire time. <laughs> Call the lawyers right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Where should we go ride our horse? What do you want to do? Do you want to like ride around out in public? That might be nice. Oh, she stood up. She knew I was she knew I was talking about her. Hmm, maybe we could go ride out in the environment. Hi. Now you're looking at me and not the horses. We can go up to the gulch. <laughs> oh, and I can show you the caves. How about that? I like that idea. Can you show us how to rescue a horse? Yeah, I will, Allie. I think, how about this? Let's, let's work on skill building with this horse a little bit longer before we go and, and do anything wild, like get another one. <laughs> uh, but soon, soon we can adopt a second horse. We can, maybe we can adopt a foal or something. Or, no, better idea. Let's rescue an adult horse and then try and have these two have a foal together. I like that idea. We'll, we'll rescue a horse and then have them have a foal. So we can have the best of both worlds. <laughs> Um, no, you don't see their needs in the same way that you see a sim's needs because you- oh, don't throw me off. Look at this. She's terrified. I don't blame her. <laughs> you don't see their needs in the same way you see a sim's needs, but when you hover over them, it says like hunger good, energy excellent. Um, so you can see their needs kind of that way because you can't control the horse, um, just like you can't control the cats and dogs. But I actually- I know this is controversial. I actually kind of prefer that. I feel like it's it's almost a little bit more realistic to be like trying to figure it out, you know? How do you check their skills? Oh, so if you open your Sims profile um, in, in their relationship panel, you can see on their profile, it tells you all their skills. Um, it tells you your sentiments with them. You can see how many competitions they've won. You can see all their traits. And also, this was so amazing to me. Do you know what? Pause. I'm gonna go into a different save just for a second so you can see better on a better horse. 
but I have like a championship horse <laughs> with um, with Stanley and my other save. And the horses, depending on like how well cared for they are, how good their skills are, and how many competitions they've won, they're worth more money. Wait until you see this. Wait until you see this. I've never sold a horse because I don't want to, I like them too much. But if I wanted to sell this horse, the amount of money that I would get from this is unbelievable. Take a guess. Guess what you think a horse that's got like all max skills, won every competition, guess how much you think it would be worth. I'm seeing a lot of guesses, lots of 30,000s, 20,000s. Okay, some people are asking a little bit high. It's not 100. <laughs> Look at this, my horse is worth 46,250 simoleons. So it's worth like 50K. I mean, it's max everything. It's won like everything as well, <laughs> but <laughs> isn't that cool? But it's interesting to see like how much it goes up, you know, versus like my other low level one skill point horse that's worth like 1100 simoleons. But yeah, that's, isn't that amazing? It also has this championship horse trait, a champion through and through. This horse's foals will gain skills and that fighting spirit faster and have higher value. So if I had this horse have babies, they would be like better because <laughs> this is a championship horse. Isn't that cool? Anyway, I was quite impressed by that. But stay tuned for um, this on YouTube. <laughs> stay tuned for that one. Um, it took me like like three hours to film that today, but. All right, let's go back. Sorry, everyone. I'll be returning to this household. <laughs> Nepo babies, I know, right? Seriously. <laughs> There's a lot of rags to riches options with this pack. I don't want to spoil it too much, but I also filmed one with Nectar making and I got like, I'm not kidding, 400,000 simoleons or something by the end from the Nectar. So it's pretty good. <laughs> what happened? What, you left my horse, come back. You ditched it. Yeah because you can make the nectar and then age it. So if you've got like high quality nectar that's like mo the max aged, it's worth a lot of money. It takes some time because you have to age it, but you can make... Hmm. <laughs> hmm, okay. I was gonna say I wanted to reset her for a second, but I can't move my fingers on the keyboard because my cat's laying on my arm. Whoa, my God, okay. Oh dear. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> we don't know we don't know Daisy that well and she has a low temperament skill. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> Try again. I don't think she wants to after that. No, you can't die from the horses at all. Uh, there's no new sim deaths in this pack. Uh, the horses can Oh my god, what are you doing? Stop, don't light the fire, come back. Yeah, there's no new sim desk. There's just, uh, the horses can die. The horses can die of old age, but, but that's it. Oh my God. You'll get them this time. There we go. Okay, I'm officially on the horse. The horse doesn't like me that much. Well, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's fine. Whoa. She looks terrified. This is one of my favorite parts. I used to love this about The Sims 3 too, when they were like early horse skill. They were so bad at riding and they looked so scared. <laughs> anyway, we'll try and work on this skill a little bit. See if we can get it up so we can do some competitions tomorrow. Does the ranch hand help with chickens and cows? Amy, I haven't played with Cottage Living and this pack until today. This is like my first time having Cottage Living also installed, so I don't know yet. <laughs> um, until today, I haven't seen it, so we'll have to we'll have to find out, I guess. I don't have any chickens or anything. Um, how long do the horses live? You know, I don't know exactly how many days they live. Do you think you can see that with MC Command Center? No, I don't have. It's not an update yet, but. Um, I don't know how exactly how many days the horses live. I had an elder horse die, but I got the horse as an elder. So I don't know. 
I don't know how long exactly they live, though. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, how long can we keep riding this until we get too tired? Probably a while. Daisy's got endurance level three now. Do they have their own gravestone? Yeah, there is a horse gravestone. Let me look around for a second. There's somewhere back... Oh, you you also can swim in here if you want to, in this water. But there's somewhere out in the wilderness that has a visible gravestone. Yeah, 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 look. This is kind of scary, actually. Because it looks like there's a fallen bridge, right? And there's a horse gravestone in the wild for an unknown horse. So... Yikes. <laughs> um, but the horses do have their own gravestone, gravestone, yeah. And then if you come back this way, um, if you come this way, you can come all the way across this little, like, creek almost. And back down here, hidden, is the secret cave that you can enter. Come down here. It's gonna take her a while to get in there. Give her a second. She's gonna run. But you can enter the secret caves down there. And you, it's like, um, it's actually really cool. We don't have a lot of items and our needs are bad right now, so bear with me, but... You can enter these caves, and then there's like a whole system to it, to trying to beat the caves. There's like puzzles you have to finish and stuff. It's actually really cool. <laughs> it's actually really, really cool. Is it by the waterfall? Um, no, it's, well, kind of. The water, I mean, there's a couple aren't there. I'm lost, I don't know where I am. If you're looking for the cave, you can find this bridge and it's back there across the creek from it. So, okay. See, look at this. Level one, two step in giant spider. Ash steps through a cavern doorway draped with silken string. Eight eyes blink in the darkness and a giant spider emerges from the shadows. It's eight appendages, ew, donned in orange tennis shoes, twist and turn into some sort of arachnid dance. It looks at, da it looks at Ash unexpectedly. No, I can't read this. It looks at Ash expectedly. <laughs> a dance challenge has been issued. And we can choose offense or defense. Creature does six damage to Ash. Literally, it's like D&D. &D. Yeah, I can imagine the gurus that worked on this must have been having so much fun. <laughs> it's so cool. Continuing its boogie down, Ash is backed into a corner by the menacing spider. Ooh, offense. The creature does two damage to Ash. Uh-oh. You don't die from this. It just kicks you out when you lose, but... Almost stung, Ash leaps away with a kickball change. The dance continues. Okay, I did six damage. The creature does three damage to Ash? Oh my god, I suck! There we go. Plus 25 to cave progress. And we got some uncommon plants. Ooh, that's cool. And a treasure chest. See? Isn't that cool? And you can just keep going. There's like multiple levels in the cave. Uh-oh. I'm gonna pee myself. Let's go back home. <laughs> Let's go back home. <laughs> My bad. Is it always the same? The levels? No. The, um, they're, I, I think that it's maybe randomized. I'm not really sure. Because there's some that are kind of puzzly. Where it's like, oh, you can only enter this door if you have like this item. But it's written in kind of a riddle. Um, and I don't know if they're the same level each time or if they're randomized a little bit. I'm not 100% sure, but it's it's quite cool. Um, there's one where it's like you can only get through the door if you have a sheep with you because the sheep can talk to the thing that's blocking the door. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, but it's kind of cool. Oh. I won't lie. I, I did kind of have higher hopes than that for this item. <laughs> I thought when it said uncommon plants, I was like, oh, good. No, it's trash fruit. It's trash fruit. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I built this house, Kayla. I built this house. I mean, it is uncommon. Oh, look, he's planting it. Why are you still here? You're supposed to leave at 7 p.m. I like you. You're a nice guy. <laughs> And my horsey is sleeping. Look at how cute that is. I also noticed in my gameplay that not all of the horses like to sleep in, inside. So 
I had in one of my households like four horses and some of them preferred to sleep in the barn. Some of them preferred to sleep outside like on purpose, which is I think pretty realistic that like they don't always want to be inside. Um, they also sleep standing sometimes. It kind of just depends. Um, but yeah, my horsey is sleeping on their little bed right here. It's pretty cool. Okay, well my ranch hand is here, so that means that I can't sleep. <laughs> I can't triple speed because of you. Maybe I'll make him make him leave. Bye. Oh, and I'll sell this poop too. There we go. There we go. Will it be on sale when it comes out? Like, is it gonna be on sale as in like, not full price tomorrow? Cause, cause definitely not. It's it's gonna be $40 um, tomorrow, 40 US dollars tomorrow when it releases. It might go on sale in a few months, um, but it won't be like half price on the release day. So, no, Faith, from my understanding, um, they're, the horses don't get sick, so you don't have to take them to the vet. So, you don't, you don't need to worry about them getting sick or anything. Okay, horsey, I'm going to ride you. Did my ranch hand come back or did I break it by forcing him to leave? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's what I get for using a mod to make him leave. This is what I was saying though, the horses can come inside. If there's not stairs up into the house, they can come inside. Which I like. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Brush coat. Maybe clean as well. Just take care of my little horse, buddy. When is it gonna be on sale? Oh, bestie, there's there's not word on that. I don't know. <laughs> um, like on sale for a discount. There's I have, haven't got a clue. They don't tell us that, you know. Um, which makes sense that they wouldn't tell us that. But probably not for a while. Okay, I think that I'll go. Mount you. We've been working on barrel racing a little bit, so maybe I'll go work on some barrel racing and then we can do a barrel racing contest today. Yeah? Okay, plant. how about this? We'll practice, we'll do a barrel racing contest today, and while we're over there, we'll rescue a horse. Yeah? Is it an official build for the pack? Oh no, this is a build that I did. I made this. Um, it's not one of the default builds that comes in the pack. All the default builds are really good though. They're really cool. They had some really, really talented builders working on this. Can you do it again? One more time, one more time, buddy. Agility level two? That's not good enough. We need more. Oh my. Can you play as just a horse? <laughs> no, you can't click on the horse to control the horse. So you have to have a sim with you. You need to have a person for it to work. All right, I might go do the contest now. Do horses get burned out too? Yeah, the horses can get tired. So what I learned is, um, let's do a beginner barrel racing contest. What I learned is if the horses get tired, the water is what helps them, helps to combat their exhaustion. They don't have a water drinking need, just like the Sims don't have a water drinking need. But uh, if they drink water, it'll help combat their, their exhaustion, which is interesting. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but that's what the water can do. So you don't technically need to have water, but um, you can and it's helpful. <laughs> And the horses do have emotions. Like mine is currently, oh good, uncomfortable. I got bucked off the horse in the contest. <laughs> okay, I still won. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> oh my God. And the way the competitions work is um, now that I have one, I can't enter more than one per day. The horse, the sim can enter more than one. So if I had two horses, I could do a contest with each of them, but a horse can only do one contest per day. Um, and no, you don't always win. <laughs> you definitely don't always win. Um, there's there's like uh, recommended skill levels and your skill level affects your, your skill level and your mood affects how likely you are to win, so. Okay, I said I was gonna adopt a horse, yeah? Let's, so you can buy one or you can rescue one. If you buy one, they have better traits and they're more expensive. If you rescue one, they're cheaper 
and they have some not so good traits, basically. Um, so these purchased horses are like mellow and friendly and brave and intelligent, but the rescue horses might be aggressive and stuff like that. So can the horses swim? They don't, they don't swim swim, but they can walk in water. I'll show you when we go back up to the area, but when there's like a shallow creek that a sim could walk through, they can walk through it. They don't like swim swim. Like they won't go in a pool, obviously. Um, are you gonna rescue the horse or not? There we go. Um, they won't go in a pool, but they will uh, walk. Okay, we wanna get, this one's not even bad. Needy, mellow, free spirit. Needy, brave, defiant. I think I want to get an adult because I want them to breed with my sims. We might have to get Dynamo because I want them to breed with my horse. I have a girl horse, right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> but I wanted them to breed with my horse, so we might have to get Dynamo because I don't want an elder because I don't want them to die. So we have to get a stallion, so it has to be this one. Yeah, I, I can't have them die. That's not right. That's not, that's, I'm uncomfortable with that possibility. No, it's not pre-recorded, Halo. We're actually playing right now. Um, we're playing. Not pre-recorded, it's not footage. I'm in the game. What should we call it? My, my other horse is called Daisy. I'm getting a lot of options in the chat. Oh no, I'm overwhelmed. I like the idea of a flower name. Wait, frog? Somebody said frog. Why is that kind of speaking to me? I know literally no one else except that one person said frog, but I kind of like frog. <laughs> Can we call it frog? It's too late, I'm doing it. I'm sorry. It's my horse frog. Come out, frog. I'm gonna go into cast and look at it. I think frog is good. I like it. Frog and Daisy. Here's frog. Oh, frog, you're cute. Needy, brave, defiant. I don't think needy is that bad of a trait, to be honest. Let me get you a saddle and stuff ready here. <laughs> Oh, I like how that one looks. That's nice. What are our thoughts on this? You look cute. Yeah? Okay. I relate. I am also needy. <laughs> there you go. We could call their baby lily pad. That's cute. Oh, that's a good combo. I like that. You can imagine the people in a recording room making these horse sounds. I know, I know. If you guys didn't know, um, every like sound that you ever hear uh, of a horse or a creature in The Sims, any any like sound in The Sims, babies crying, it's it's all recorded by like an adult human voice actor. So those horse sounds that you're hearing in cast, that is that is an adult human making that noise. Nisola. Just so you know. Uh, <laughs> that that is in fact an adult human. <laughs> it's impressive. It really is impressive. Voice actors are really impressive. Should I enter a competition with you? There's no way you're gonna win. We have no skills. Let's try one just to see what happens. Might as well. <laughs> the infant's hissing or an adult human? Yeah, isn't that horrible? It's kind of scary, isn't it? I still got a bronze medal? Wow. And my horse was tense. That's probably part of it. That's cool. I can hang these up now. I don't have like any decor in my house, so. That's good. <laughs> You see the goats too? Yeah, look. Here's my goat. I haven't really played with my goats that much. I've been too excited about horses. This is the problem. When I start playing in a new save like this, I get so overwhelmed. 
I don't even know actually where to begin, you know? <laughs> There's like so much to do. Where do we even start with it, right? <laughs> okay. You take care of your own needs. You can call the horses over too. All right. How are you doing, little frog? Not good. <laughs> you don't have any skills. Oh my god. I guess I called them in here. I didn't really think that through. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have enough space on my lot for two horses. I really didn't think this through. We might need to move to a bigger house. Also, do you guys mind if I turn my fan on? You might be able to hear it. It's just really hot in here. I'm, I'm just gonna make you listen to it. I'm sorry. Maybe you can't hear it, who knows. But it's just too hot. I simply can't handle it. <laughs> Sell one tree. I mean, yeah, if we got rid of um one of these trees, we could probably like, do you know what? Actually, we could maybe reorient some of this. Wait, let me mess with this a little bit. Because I could probably rearrange all of these things to try and have the stables over here, like facing out this way. And that might work pretty well. Let's, let's rethink this now that we have a couple horses. Because we can make... Um, it's going to be very close to the house, but that's okay. That is okay. I find that so unbelievably annoying. Okay. There we go. That's better. Um... We can just extend these out like this, right? And then I can put my little goat and sheep in there. This is gonna be so cute, don't worry. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. I do need to move my water because I've now made it too close to the house. <laughs> and I'll give my little guys something. I should get, um, I don't have any like toys for the horses either. This lot is not big enough for these purposes. Oh my god. <laughs> this, it's too small for me to have all these things here. Uh, I wanted to get this. Okay. Okay. So the goats and sheep eat hay? They can. Um, they don't always. So it's, it's sort of up to you. Uh, they will eat the hay, but you can also bottle feed them if you want. Because they're only little babies. So if you want to, you can also body bottle feed the goats and sheep. Should I just do it like that? That should be enough. Can you color the ceilings? Yeah, Savvy, anybody can. Um, that The ceiling paint came out in an update, a base game update for everyone yesterday. So if you have um, the Sims 4, snap, I can't see. If you have the Sims 4, you can paint your ceilings now. Anyone can. As of yesterday. All right, that'll work, right? It's pretty cool though. I suppose I probably should. I think I'm using the wrong color wood for this. Oh my God, it's ruined, stop. You know what? I don't care if the fence posts are in a weird place. I'm never gonna see it, right? Can I show you the ceiling thing? Yeah, hold on. So if you want to paint the ceilings, um, you can press this little ceilings button. Um, there's not ceilings on this, is there? Wait, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on, I don't have ceilings here. Um, I guess it's not actually a room. I didn't really think about that. Well, you can paint the ceilings uh, for anywhere. And then if you go in game and you look up, the ceiling is, did I not paint that? Hold on. I think I put that, that's not the ceiling paint. That's just the floor. Please hold. Ceiling paint, right? And then you page down and this is how you paint the ceilings. 
<laughs> Again, anyone can do this. This just came in the base game. Um, so it's, uh, it's possible for anyone to do if you would like to. My cat just ditched me. She's not on my desk anymore. Um, but yeah, you can do it like that. And then you go, no, I did it wrong again. Oh my God, I'm painting the floor. <sighs> I keep like looking at the chat and distracting myself. So you go to this button, you press ceilings, page down, grab what you want, and then look at the room. And that is how you paint the ceilings. Oh my God. Again, that's base game. <laughs> and then if you look here, the ceiling is now a uh, texture, which is cool. So anyway. I didn't, I did not do a good job just then. Um, sign bed, there we go. I didn't put the goats in their place again, but I'm asleep, so it's okay. Okay, but yeah, that's base game, so you can all, um, you can all see the ceiling paint now anywhere. <laughs> yeah, like a true log cabin, it's pretty cool, right? Oh, Snappy, are you leaving? Okay, my cat is leaving for real, she's ditching me. This is so sad. Let's get some leftovers. Are the goats babies forever? Yeah, they call them mini goats and mini sheep because they are, are small. <laughs> um, so yeah, they are. But can horses be kept in other worlds? Yeah, you can take a horse anywhere, just like you could a cat and dog. It's not like cats and dogs aren't tied to Brittle to Bay, so you can take the horses anywhere too if you want. Does that make sense? Okay. Do horses not sleep standing up? No, Bearville, so from my understanding, in real life, horses sleep standing up and they sleep laying down. Um, the horses in the game will like nap standing up sometimes or they'll curl up and sleep for real. They kind of do both in the game and in real life. So. These two seem to like to sleep in their beds, but not all of them like to sleep in the horse beds, so. All right, I'm gonna try and work on this horse a little bit more today. And then once we get this barrel skill up a little bit higher, I'm gonna feel uh, more capable, <laughs> I think. Or oh, hunger is low. Yeah, they can run away just like the cats and dogs can. They'll run away if they're not being taken care of. So you just got the Discord notification. Are you serious? I posted that an hour ago. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> I posted that Discord notification an hour ago. <laughs> Everyone just got it right now. Oh my God. Well, hey, I'm live. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Why are you sad, little buddy? Very sad. Oh. Uh oh. I might get some more prairie grass. Probably wouldn't hurt to have more of this, huh? Because they can like graze on this and eat it and I can harvest it. I need a second sim. Where's my ranch ham when you need him? <laughs> I need to hire another sim. I need to just like find someone to, to help me with my horses. <sighs> There's too much going on. I've got too much happening on this farm to take care of everybody. Add Nancy land grab. Oh, I guess we could if we wanted to. Um, let's go back to the house. And then I'll try taking care of the other horse. Dismount, Daisy. How are you? You're actually doing quite well. Um, above neck, I don't know. I want them to have a baby, but that's gonna give me even more horse problems. Like, if I think I'm overwhelmed now, imagine if I have two horses. <laughs> then what? <laughs> that's not gonna be good. Nancy would be a horse gal? You think Nancy should, like, leave her husband and come hang out with me? Encouraged to breed with Daisy. So just like the cats and dogs, the breeding isn't successful every time. Oh, this horse is sad too. I don't think that's gonna work. Let me try and make this one happy again. But just like the cats and dogs, the breeding isn't like guaranteed to work 100% of the time. I think I had to try like three times for it to work when I had the full before. 
So, you can go use the bathroom and then I'll take care of them. How about that? See, look, horse sleeping standing up. <gasps> look at the baby goat sleeping on this. Oh my god. Hello? You and Rita have been sp spending some casual friend time together? Okay, go for it. Sounds good to me. Interesting. Interesting. So, this is a game pack. Okay, zoom zoom. I know that that's what everybody's been saying for like weeks, but I, I have spent like, God, maybe like 30 hours playing with this pack or something ridiculous over the past two weeks. I don't think it's a game pack. <laughs> I, I'm overwhelmed by how much there is to show and like not enough time in the stream to show it. Um, as a person who's played it significantly over the past couple weeks, um, I don't know. I'm, I don't think it's a game pack size. <laughs> You're all entitled to your own opinions, but um, I don't know. I've been enjoying it, so. <laughs> I've been enjoying it. All right. Maybe maybe now they're both awake, I can try and have them have a baby. Silly goose from telling a joke to a mini sheep. Aw, getting the mini sheep to laugh was a fleece of cake. Inja, inja, That's espa. cute. Okay, encourage to breed with Daisy, please. Please. Stop running. The horse has like the zoomies or something. I'm not good friends with Daisy yet, so I can't encourage her to socialize. Maybe I'll keep talking to her. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can you harvest some of this prairie grass so I can hand feed them too? Oh, now I'm good friends with Daisy. <laughs> well, there you go. I was like two seconds too early. Okay, well you can harvest the prairie grass and it grows back. The horses can also graze on the prairie grass. Um, and then you can, you get prairie grass in your inventory. And it's kind of like, I keep describing it as being loot boxy. Oh my God, I haven't saved yet. Um, but you can like get random items from this um, where like I've gotten like expensive nectar from the prairie grass. I found other fruits. I found like kids toys in the prairie grass. Yeah, see, I just found a quill fruit that I can sell. Um, but I found some, like, decent stuff while digging around in the prairie grass, so it's kind of useful. But you can hand feed them, which I really enjoyed. Why are you scared? Oh my god. What's up? Horsey? What's wrong? Frog is feeling scared after getting spooked? Lots of things can rile up a horse, but a little reassurance and a kind gesture are sure to help. Oh, buddy! I'm sorry. I had big problems when when I had a foal before in like my early access saves. The the goat kept like taunting my foal. So my goat kept getting or my my baby horse kept getting sad because of the goat. That's mean. <laughs> That's not nice. My goat's a bully, a, bu a bully goat, not a billy goat, right? <laughs> yeah, the goats are cute, but apparently the goats are not very nice to baby horses. All right, I'm gonna see about encouraging these two horses to socialize, because I kind of want them to be friends so I can have a baby. Yeah, there you go, good. I don't actually know if they need to be friends to have a baby, but I'm gonna try anyway. Cause I want a baby. That's important to me. Friendly, encouraged to breed with. It took me a while to get pregnant before. Like I said, like a few tries. So it said no. Oh, my sheep is dirty. Wait, let's bottle feed and brush the sheep. They can have babies? Yes! Yes, it's actually so cool. The, the like, foal and breeding gameplay is so cool because if you have, like, a really good horse, they can pass along some traits to the babies. Um, so, like, for example, if you've got a championship horse, their babies will be, like, better at learning skills. I had, um, 
the baby that I had, I only had one full in my early access gameplay, but the baby that I had got like a bonus playful trait that you can't get in cast. You can only get it through breeding. Um, so you can, oh wait, are they gonna do it? <gasps> no, they were just hugging. Okay, false alarm, sorry. I'll try again in a second. <laughs> uh, they said no before when I asked them to, to try. But um, yeah, they you can get like bonus traits through breeding horses, which is kind of cool. Please, I want a baby. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, so what I've found is the most effective way to test if your horse is pregnant without having to wait for it to tell you. Same goes for cats and dogs. Go into Cass. She might not be pregnant. I would bet she's not pregnant from that, but we'll find out. But if you go into Cass, you can look and see if it lets you edit the horse. Yeah, I can edit the horse so she's not pregnant. If she was pregnant, it would be like you can't edit a pregnant horse. So we shall try again. <laughs> uh, yeah, the traits that you get, the traits that you get from breeding aren't traits that you can get normally, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, pro tip, uh, same for cats and dogs. The cats and dogs always take me a couple tries to have them get pregnant too. I think that it won't let me try again because we just did, but I'll have them socialize with each other. But anyway, it'll tell you in game if they're pregnant as well, but it like takes a second for it to tell you. Um, and I don't want to have to wait for that, so. <laughs> so I just check in cats. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm finishing eating. Woo! Pick it up. I think they're becoming friends, so that's good. I like that. Yeah, Cammy, it does snow here in Chestnut Ridge. I um, I played through winter for the first time today and it was snowing in Chestnut Ridge, which is kind of cool. Um, everything got kind of a little blanket of snow on it. 100 full challenge. Oh my god. I don't even want to think about how much work that would be <laughs> That makes me nervous the thought of that to be honest <laughs> How are you doing your hunger is good? You're all good. Let's go to sleep then All right, I feel more like I've got everything under control now Could you make a goat farm with the goats? I mean you could have only goats if you wanted to and you could have as many goats as you want wait I don't, oh, I don't have the save in this version of the game. I, um, I made a video that I'm gonna post this weekend where I tried to have, like, as many goats as I could physically place on a lot. And I had, like, 600. It wasn't a good idea. Don't do this. The game did not like it. <laughs> and I couldn't take care of them. Um, but I tried to place, like, 600 goats and they were just everywhere. They were everywhere. Goats everywhere. So. You know. Like the chickens? Yeah, I did it with chickens before too, but I, yeah, I did it with the goats and it was kind of stressful. What's that? Hello? Oh my god, it's the dust? Whoa, 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 whoa. I absolutely did not re-enable the dust pack. So what happened there? got a mind of its own. The dust turns itself on. That was so scary. Okay, I'm gonna talk to my little sheep. <laughs> Long live bust the dust. Mm. Is there a new career? Well, Bitter, there's not like a rabbit hole career. Um, this pack is kind of similar to Cottage Living in how like the the new career is is kind of you running the ranch. Like, like doing all the ranch things is the career. What did you do? Bad joke. That joke couldn't even crack a mini smile on the mini sheep. <laughs> oh no, you're embarrassed and you're too cool, cool for wool. The mini sheep had places to go and people to see and had no time to play. Oh my God. Okay. They don't like me. Um. Daisy, can you- no wait, actually Daisy, don't go to sleep yet. I'm gonna have you two try and breed again. Encourage to breed with Daisy. Was that a random horse? 
Oh, look at that. I haven't met that horse, obviously, but it, if I had, it would give me the option to encourage her to breed with that horse in the world. Did they say no? Do, do you not want to? Oh, no, they're doing it. Sorry. <laughs> I just didn't unpause the game long enough. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. <laughs> Let me go see if she's pregnant. <laughs> Is that thunder? Oh, hi. Daisy? Dang it! It took me- it did take me three tries to get pregnant last time. So, we might need some more time. It's okay, we'll get there. <laughs> we will get there. Alright. How about this? Because you can't ride the horses much when they're pregnant, although you're quite tired, never mind. I was gonna say I'll, I could work on Daisy's skills, but she needs to sleep. Maybe I'll work on this one's skills then. No, wrong horse. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, look, the horse he's eating the hay! Isn't that cute? Oh, the horse bed takes up, it's four by four, I think. Yeah, the horse bed is four by four. So if you wanna build like a stable in advance of the pack coming out tomorrow, the bed is four by four. Um, so you can try and make something that it'll fit in. Okay, I'm gonna mount this horse. Come along. I guess I'm having Daisy work on barrel racing the most. So maybe I could have Frog work on jumping the most? And we'll try and like focus in on one skill for each of them? What do you think about that? I feel like that makes sense for now. What's the pink animal? Oh, that's one of my sheep. They have, um, there's, I can show you. There's a bunch of uh, mini sheep and mini goats that you can buy. They have like some normal colors. <laughs> and then there's like some fun ones, like a green one and an orange one and stuff. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a baby sheep. Hello, little sheep. Oh, there's also goats. Where is my goat? Hold on. The goats can go in your house, so I just got to find it first. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Look, stop. Come on. Come on. Isn't that so cute? Yeah, you can. You can use the sheep wool. If you have cottage living, you can use the wool for cross stitching just like you would uh, with the wool from the llamas in cottage living. So cottage living in this pack, I think will pair together really well. Frog leaping feels natural. All right, guys, watch this. Frog's gonna leap. Oh, frog, you failed. Oh, baby, it's crying. Oh my God, I never looked that close at it. Oh, I'm sorry that I said you failed. That was actually, that was actually mean of me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a bully, I'm bullying a horse. <laughs> I'm gonna cheer it up, don't worry. I'm sorry, little one. I'm sorry. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. How are you doing skill-wise? Oh. <laughs> Jumping level one? The answer is we're not doing that well skill-wise. Should we go enter a contest anyway? Show jumping. Frog. Let's try it. You're scared to put all the different animal types on one lot because you don't know if you can take care of all their needs efficiently. Yeah, I know. Here's, okay, so my thought for tomorrow, I think today I, I want to just play with like my sim, a couple horses, get ourselves set up, and then maybe tomorrow we could move to one of the bigger lots. Uh, maybe we could move out to like this starter home lot or something where it's like 50 by 50 or the 64 by 64, dear God. Um, and then we'd have more space and we can try and get like some cows and chickens and like run a full on farm. I just, I wanna like ease into it. Before we go all out with that, let's, let's ease in and focus on just oh, yeah. the horse stuff today. <laughs> but then tomorrow we can build something bigger, I feel like would be kind of fun. That's what I'm wondering too, Acrylic, because I haven't played with the cottage living animals yet with the horse pack. I, I assume that the ranch hand would help with the cottage living animals. 
Silver medal! That's not bad. I mean, it's not good either, but it's not bad. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we can- we'll try that tomorrow. Okay. Would you like to- Well, I was gonna say, would you like to ride the horse home? <laughs> the horse decided that we would not be riding at home. <laughs> Frog did not want to. <laughs> Frog's revenge. That's okay, I get it. Frog was upset about losing, so. It's okay. I get it. The closer we are to the horse, the better I feel. So we'll just keep talking to it. We'll try and build our temperament skill and stuff that way. Ask for cooperation during mounting. <laughs> Please, can you let me ride you? It would mean a lot to me. I don't think it wants to. Oh, now I'm hungry. You know what? Let's just go home. Let's just go home. The horse can do what the horse wants. I'm not... It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Are there only Western saddles? Zodiac, um, from my understanding, no. But, hold on. You tell me. As a, as a recent horse girl, I don't actually know the difference. If I'm being completely honest with you. Um, so here are the saddle options. Wait, let me turn my face cam off. Um, there's this one. With a horn. So I think that's Western. There's this one. English, maybe? And this one, Western also? Maybe? Is that correct? So there's one English saddle and two Western saddles. I guess that it makes sense because um, this pack is like very Western- Inspire. It's like the Wild West. Literally. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Western one has the horn in the front. This, like, little thing. So. Where's Goose Kingdom when you need her? Goose Kingdom's on a plane. Can you believe that? Absolute worst timing in the world for Hope to be on a plane right now. Hope is our resident horse girl. And she's going to Seattle today. Devastating. Devastating. Truly. Anyway. <laughs> You're seeing Taylor this weekend in Seattle? So is Hope! So is Hope. Uh, my, my friend Hope, Goose Kingdom, who many of you might know from chat, um, she is a uh, huge fan. Is that sparkly horse poop? Wait. Outstanding quality horse manure. Whoa. <laughs> but my friend Hope, um, is a huge Taylor Swift fan, but also one of her best friends lives in Seattle. So she was going to visit her this weekend uh, and they got Taylor tickets and stuff. So she's going to be there. But unfortunately, um, she will not be seeing horses <laughs> because she's busy. <laughs> All right, let me see about hugging you, my little horse friend, and then I'll make myself some food. Maybe I'll get a grill. I have a bunch of money, so I'm going to sell these trash plants. I don't need one of those. Grill. There is a new grill from the pack. So we can try and make some food. Grill. Bison stew is one of the new things. So you can collect the horse poop and sell it? Yeah, it also works as like fertilizer. Um, for some ranchers, horse manure has proven to be a stable source of income. Sell your fertilizer for a hefty profit or grow a thriving garden by fertilizing your plants with the best manure on the market. Ultimately, don't let your horse waste its precious gift. Instead, use it to make your ranch thrive. <laughs> um, so yes, to answer your question, uh, it's fertilizer or you can sell it if you want. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my goat's in the house! This is what I was talking about. Everybody being like, where do the goats even go? What do you do with the goats? The goats can go anywhere. The goats can go in the house. So can my horse. <laughs> but <laughs> Look at how cute that is. I'm milking my goat. Yeah, the horses being in the house is so funny. <laughs> Aww. Okay, well, 
I think that now might be a good time to try and have my horses breed again. Maybe I'll encourage them to... No horses are nearby? Liar. Have a baby! It is thundering. <laughs> yeah, you can bottle feed the goat. The goats also can um, eat the hay and stuff if they want, but... They'll autonomously eat hay, or you could hand bottle feed them. It's storming. <laughs> it is storming. Welcome to Florida. I'm sorry. I live in Florida. So, you know, it's uh like that around here. Oh, my horse is all the way over here. I didn't bring it back home. I hate to say it. I, I did get the horses confused just then. I fully thought that this was the horse that I did a contest with today. Well, wait, what are you doing there? I'm confused. Are you all at this? Huh. Okay, well, <laughs> use the bathroom. I don't know. Now I'm scared. <laughs> Do you have to turn off UI Cheats? Um, UI Cheats, I have downloaded the update of already. They updated UI Cheats yesterday, um, and it, it, from the update. I guess they might have some horse stuff to update too, but it works okay, so. She went over there to breed? Oh, and I didn't even see. Oh, well I can go look then. Let me go modify them and cast. We'll see if they, I don't know for sure if they bred just then. But we'll find out. <laughs> Yemple are a go- Eh, uh, we're not pregnant, so... <laughs> Maybe they didn't. I don't know. I guess we'll see. How can you tell? Well, it tells you in-game. Um, it'll tell you in-game if they're pregnant. Um, but only- Oh my god. <laughs> That was very loud. <laughs> okay, um, I saved the game, so this is, it's fine. <laughs> that was a lot. That was really loud thunder. Okay, I don't think anything's gonna happen to my stream, but if on the off chance my like power goes out and I randomly disappear from stream, you know what happened. We haven't had that happen in this house, so I don't think that it will. Um, it used to happen in my old house a lot, but it doesn't really happen here. But again, if I randomly disappear, the North North blame the sky. Ninja? No, that's real life, not the game. That's in fact real life. Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can encourage them to socialize with each other. I don't know if this makes it more likely for them to have a successful, like, breeding, but... I'll try it anyway, just to see. Oh, it peed. The horses, when they pee, wait, let me show you this. It's actually, cause I don't, I didn't get a good angle of it just then, but I can show you a screenshot. This is actually the first screenshot I ever took when I had early access. First of all, it's beautiful. The sky, you know, but look at my horse peeing. And the poop looks like that too. It's like, like little piles of nuggets falling out of them. nice. <laughs> it's lovely. What's the thing on the ground in front of it? That's a, That was a goat. Um, where's my- oh, here's some more poop. Hold on. Let me grab this. My goat- it's one of these little guys that was rolling on the ground. So. All right. All right. I am riding my horse. Now is a good time to go practice some barrel racing. Tonight, I guess. How do you get this pack? Oh, <gasps> that was big lightning. I saw it, um, cause it made the room flash. Hmm. <laughs> the storm is very close. <laughs> oh my. Oh. <laughs> All right, well. 
I hope Snappy is not scared. She doesn't usually get scared of the storm. I just worry. I just worry about the cats, you know? You'd be hiding under a couch by now. You're terrified of storms. I know. Storms are scary. I think that um, I'm, I am lucky in that, well, well, I wouldn't say I'm lucky. I was going to say I'm lucky in that I grew up in Florida. <laughs> And then I was like, no, stop yourself there, Kayla. You can't say you're lucky to have grown up in Florida. That's not what I mean. What I mean to say is I grew up in Florida, so it storms a lot and I'm used to it. <laughs> and what I did not mean is that I'm lucky to grow up in Florida. <laughs> yeah, this is the bad place. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm quite used to storms because it does this like every day, but... <laughs> okay 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 i think it's like 10 p.m maybe i'll have him go back to bed then come back over here and then we'll get some food and we shall all go to sleep should i get a dog or would it be silly of me to have another pet i have this urge to have a dog. Can we get like a golden retriever? Barn cat. Oh my god, cat. The news Whoa, that was so weird. Hi, Snappy. The whole chat just started yelling barn cat and then you appeared. Why does she, how does she do that? Every time I start talking about her, she appears. What about a sheep dog? Oh, that could be cute. Anyway, I told you she would appear. No, I don't like that one. Look at that one! <gasps> Look at that one! That's my favorite so far. There's also this option, but I like the other one. Like, look at this guy. Are you kidding? We should get that one. What should we call it? It's, no, you can't be stubborn. You can be loyal, a hunter, no. Loyal, smart, and how about adventurous? Snappy, don't get caught in the cord, okay? Careful, careful. It looks like a big bear. It does kind of look like a bear. We can call it bear, that's cute. I like that. Let me give you a collar, little bear. Oh, look at you! It's so fluffy! Can it be pink? Yeah, it should be pink. Adventurous dogs run away more? Oh, no. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. You can be friendly. <laughs> no, no, not a dog that runs away, please. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, actually, uh, pass on that. <laughs> How can you view horse skills? Oh, I'll show you. Um, you can click on them when you like, oh, they're like playing, that's cute. Uh, you can click on them and you can like learn about their skills that way. Um, but what's a little bit easier is if you have a relationship with them in your relationship panel, you can press open profile and it shows all the information about them. So you can see like the awards they've won, the skills they have, stuff like that. Um, so I, I have the best luck just opening the relationship panel and seeing it like that. All right, let me get myself some dog stuff quickly. Before I forget, <laughs> let, me, let me buy some things for the dog before we get too ahead of ourselves. Um, dog, 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 hi. I give the dog a dog bed. I'll get the dog a dog bowl. Are you scared because of the storm? Is that why you came to sit with me? Or did you just hear me talking about you? Look, I joke, I joke, but honestly, I, do I don't think she heard me talking about her. Look at how cute that is. What I really want to see is the dog play with the horses. But Snappy doesn't have the best hearing these days. She's getting a little old. So I, I don't think that she heard me say the words. <laughs> She can hear like high pitched and very loud things, but I don't think she would have like heard me talking about her from the other room and then noticed and come in here. So anyway, 
You can go to bed, sorry. How am I gonna take care of all these animals? Oh, are you talking to the dog? I hope so. Look, the doggies asleep. The horsies are asleep. The sheep is asleep. Where's the goat? Hello? Oh, the goat's inside. Oh, look, the goat's asleep too in the house. That is so cute. That is so cute. So, oh, no, save the game. That's adorable. I'm so glad that the goats aren't tied to an item like the chickens were. That's like genuinely amazing. It's so much better this way. <laughs> All right, um, horsies, can you both wake up? I need to clean up your thingies. Also, my ranch hand has not come in a while. Do I need to hire a new one? Because my ranch hand, I think I do. I think that it's like, it unhired itself or something. Because they haven't come to help me, which is okay. Like, I'll get a new one. I didn't need their help, but. That was happening to Jesse. Yeah, I had, well, I usually didn't play with the ranch hands. I only played with it once, and then I married the ranch hand. So it moved in, they moved into my house. Oh, it's the same guy again. Okay, good. Um, but I married the ranch hand, so they moved in with me. Um, and then I, I didn't hire one again, because I didn't really need to, <laughs> because they lived, like, I had an extra same living with me, so. Um, I realize that's, like, unhelpful information for you all, but, um, I don't know. Okay, I got some milk from milking this goat. Why are you sad? Did the goats bother you? Were the goats messing with you? I hope not. Is there new countertops? Yeah, there's a new kitchen set. I'll show you. Turn on all lights. Look. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, I have some cabinets. Yeah, this is the new kitchen set. There's new counters and cabinets. Yeah, I built this house. Yeah. My dog is barking at my horse. That's fun. Okay, can I have you two breed now? And can it please work this time? I should clarify, it isn't a glitch. It's just not meant to be successful every time. Even though I want it to be. <laughs> Let me go into cast and see if uh, she's pregnant. Please work, please work. Benaza Shaiben. Daisy. <gasps> look, 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 look. Do you see how I can't change her? This is why I kept going into cast to check. Cause it, the game will tell me, but you can see faster in cast. It says, can I edit pregnant Sims? Oh my God, we're gonna have a fall. Okay, that's what I wanted. Yes, <laughs> little baby lily pad is going to be born. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The wrap that Frog has on his tail is typically used when they're having a baby. Oh, really? I didn't know that. He just came like that, so I kept it. But that's kind of cute, actually. That is cute information. All right, let me show you guys the pregnant horse. Here is Daisy. She's going to have a baby. I'm so excited. That's really fun. Okay, well, I, I'm not able to, uh, like, do jumps and stuff with her once she's pregnant. I guess we don't know she's pregnant yet, technically. The game will tell us, and then we won't be able to, but um, we'll uh, be able to see. I think the game tells you kind of like a human where they're pregnant for, like, three days. Um, so I think we should find out probably tomorrow that she's pregnant or maybe later today, and then she'll give birth. And I think they're foals for, like, a week, but I don't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. So. <laughs> yeah, the horses get like a little bit of a bump. You can, you can tell that they're pregnant when the horses are pregnant. Okay. You finish showering and then we'll go ride some horses around. Oh my God, I can also show you guys. Wait, let me ride the horse so I can show you. I'll ride it over there after I finish eating. But there's this feature. Oh, the ranch hand is taking care of my sheep. Thank you. There was this feature that I genuinely didn't realize was a thing for so long when I had the early access. And then I saw people in the Discord talking about it. And I was like, the grocery store? 
What are you talking about? Okay, so in the town area, right? This is an actual lot that you can visit. It's a bar that you can come to. These are fake stores. Although you can, there's like a clothing store that's fake that you can actually click on and change outfits in. This building over here is a store, like a general store. Um, and you can shop for groceries in there. Um, it's a rabbit hole. It just works like the little stalls do basically. Um, but yeah, you can shop for groceries in there. Had absolutely no idea it was a thing. But you can buy stuff like you can in Cottage Living. It's a it's a grocery store, so you can get like some apples and you know things like that. I didn't know that was a thing for so long. I didn't even bother clicking on it. <laughs> and then the the group chat or the Discord server from Early Access was talking about it, and I was like, grocery store. So I went and looked for it, and it it in hindsight is kind of obvious, but I didn't I didn't realize it first. <laughs> and yeah, you can feed apples to the horses. Yeah. It's cute. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go, I think I wanna ride around up here again. So I'm gonna bring frogs so we can work on it. They did say in the gameplay stream. Yeah, but this is this is bef like when I had early access before the gameplay stream happened. So um, I didn't know about it. <laughs> um, they gave us a private gameplay stream, but they didn't talk about the grocery store in it. So but yeah, I was playing for like a week before the stream that you guys saw. Um, and exploring things kind of on my own a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, you can feed the horse apples. You can hand feed the horse hay that you harvest and like any of the like fruits and vegetables that you have and stuff. So, a whole week. I've had, I had early access for a long time, yeah. We had the CFE version. Um, but I, you know how, if any of you have been following my channel for a long time, um, oh my God. <laughs> Somebody asked, uh, do horses age if you have aging off? No, they don't. The reason I laughed is because it got held by Automod because they, um, they, they typed, there were some typos, so it said F you instead of if you. Um, anyway, that made me laugh, sorry. <laughs> no, if you've got aging off, they obviously don't age. Um, just like a sim wouldn't oh. age if you had aging off, so. Anyway, look at me riding my horsey around. Isn't that so cool? I'm just so like in awe of the animations on this pack still. But do they get tired easily? Do you know what? I had less of an issue with horses getting tired in this pack than I ever did in The Sims 3. I felt like the horses in The Sims 3 would get exhausted and like fatigued from training way more often than they do in this game. I think you can train with them a lot more in The Sims 4 than you could in The Sims 3. Which is good. I'm I'm glad by that. So, um, this is one of the starter home lots, by the way. How cool is that? It's huge. It's a fifty by fifty lot, and there's a pond and everything. How do you know they're tired? It tells you. It says um, like the horse is too tired, so you can't run more. It's not letting me run right now because I'm dismounting. It looks like. But wait, can you mount the horse again? I want to show them something. Mount. You fell asleep? Oh my god. <laughs> Frog. I'm trying to show people. I'm doing a demo. Hold on. <laughs> I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you. Um. Oh, I had Sims get engaged up here. Look at this. That isn't what I wanted to show you, but it's pretty, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> what I wanted to show you is the Sims coming over to... I always lose it. Um, I wanted to show you the Sims coming over here to the secret cave. Um, because, are you actually gonna go there? Yeah. I want you to see the horse run through the river. It's pretty cool. Hi. You've got a crush on Holly? Oh! I wanted to date you. Are you leaving me, Snug? Oh, okay. Bye. Thank you, it's been fun. I swear to you, I don't think she's scared of the storm. I think she comes and checks on me when there's a storm. I, th I think it's because she doesn't act scared. I think it's her coming to look at me and make sure I'm okay. Anyway, my ranch hand is cheating on me. He doesn't know we're dating, but <laughs> he's cheating on me. Okay, I'm running all the way down here. So you can, there's a lot of places that you can go and look at this, the horse can run through the creek. So they won't go like swimming, swimming, but this is very shallow water and they can run through the water, which I thought was really cool. Look at that, isn't that amazing? And then the cave is that um, like D&D &D style 
mini game thing. Oh, a fortune if I get married. I don't really want that. My my boyfriend is dating someone else. So <laughs> I can't really do that right now. Okay. So we're still on level one because we didn't make much progress last time we came in here. Um, this is the same spider from before, but we killed it straight away. Oh, my horse pooped. Oh! Um, <laughs> that was, that was extremely loud. <laughs> what was that? That was thunder. Um, that was thunder. Um, huh. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, don't mind that. Everything's fine. <laughs> Are you under any warnings? No, uh, I just checked my phone just then um, to make sure. No, we're not. It's just Florida. It just does that in the afternoons. It is, it is close to us though, it seems. Okay, level one, hang in there, bat. Coming across a small clearing, a large bat swings down from its perch and beckons Ash forward, seemingly offering a challenge to see who can stay upside down the longest. Ash takes a deep breath and boldly steps up for the contest. Oh, I defeated it. And I got a gnome! See? That's pretty good. Level 1 MC Skeleton. From out of the dark, a skeleton leaps forth holding a bone-shaped microphone. Spitting out some sick rhymes, the skeleton has a bone to pick with Ash. The rap battle has begun. Offense. Ash does 8 damage. What does the cave do? Well, you can keep, like, fighting these things and making progress in the caves to get further and further down. Um... And then, okay, see, this is what I was talking about. So there's puzzles sometimes in here. There's a door with some kind of writing on it. Speak, ba, and enter. What could this mean? I press try to open it. I don't have a sheep in my inventory, so I can't actually get in. So it says, like, there must be a clue. How do you get in there? We'll have to come back with a sheep tomorrow. Hi, Shella. Um, welcome to my stream, where it is aggressively storming outside. You're gonna hear a lot of loud thunder. <laughs> uh, but we're playing with the horse pack, we're kind of exploring. Let me just grab my poop quickly. Don't mind me. <laughs> also, my horse is pregnant! Um, not, not this horse, the other one. We're gonna have a foal, so you caught us at a good time. Uh, my other horse is pregnant, so we're having a really, really actually great time right now. Poop? It's too soon- oh, sorry. I shouldn't bring it up. Shella has had some problems, some poo problems recently. Hi, Momo. Hey, uh, Momo Misfortune. Happy partner anniversary, by the way. Big day for you too. <laughs> okay, um, let's go work on some barrel racing with the horse while we're, while we're talking to chat here. But yeah, this is the horse who's pregnant, but we don't know is pregnant yet. Wait, am I on the wrong one? I'm on the wrong horse! Never mind. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> this is the one that's supposed to jump. I'm trying to have one horse work on each skill, basically. Um, <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job. <sighs> oh, can you make a jumping course? You know what? That's one thing that you actually can't really do in this pack. Um, you can't do a course in the same way that you could in The Sims 3. Um, cause it's not, the, the horse stuff is sort of just like the one item. There isn't like a lot of jumps that tie together in a big course, like how The Sims 3 had. Um, that part made me feel kind of sad, but I think there's more of an emphasis on like skill building from riding out in the open and stuff, which I guess is also a win. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there isn't like a course that you can run. There's no fire jumps. Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> Okay, everyone go to sleep actually. My ranch hand is still here. The ranch hands are kind of buggy, I will say that. Oh, my horse is pregnant! Daisy's expecting a foal. Look, 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 she's pregnant, you can kind of tell. Congratulations, Daisy is expecting! This is the best day of my life. <laughs> We're gonna get a friend. 
Is there only one jump? No, there's two. Um, there's like two styles of each of the barrels and the jumps. They're also both quite cheap. So there's like this heritage vintage horse jump that looks like that one where it's kind of like rustic looking. And then there's kind of a fancier looking one. And then the barrels have kind of like a rustic looking barrel. And then this is like a plastic sort of barrel. So there's two of each. And they're only like a hundred simoleons. It's not too bad price wise. Can you still ride her? No, so you can't ride the horse when she's pregnant. We can't, um, which I think makes sense. Um, so we'll have to wait for like three days for her to have the baby. Um, that's all right though, because we have two horses. <laughs> Let me put the auto lights back on. Oh, I forgot to take care of my dog. Oh no. Um, can you? Wait, pet care, asked to go potty. I haven't let this dog out to pee a single time. Frog, why are you so tense? Can I ask? Horses don't usually have twins. Oh, did somebody ask? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I sort of anticipated this question. So I was looking this up. Um, I don't actually know for sure if horses can have twins in The Sims. But what I will say, oh, it's because my horse is defiant, that's why it's tense. What I will say is, based on what I was reading, it sounds like in real life it's really, really dangerous for mom and baby if horses have twins. Um, so they usually don't let horses have twins, just because it's not safe to do that. Um, and so I really doubt that you can have twins in The Sims, um, just because in real life it's not safe. Um, so I don't, I don't think that that's possible in the game. I would be surprised if it is. I don't know for a fact if it is or not, but I just don't, I don't think that it is. Um, so, very rare to have viable twins and horses. Same with cows, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Um, my sister is a horse girl, can't confirm it's true. Yeah, I spent a lot of time looking up horse stuff <laughs> surrounding this pack. I was Googling so much. I've learned so much about horses. <laughs> um, it's, oh, it's raining. Honestly, that's a little bit too real. It's raining in real life. It's raining in my game. Hmm. <laughs> Did I build this house? Yeah, yeah, I built this. I built this one. I'm gonna need to move to a bigger lot soon, but um, I haven't I haven't built one yet. Oh, that's a dog poop. Oh, I'll, I'll keep that. So. <laughs> okay. As soon as you're done sleeping, you can wake up and get yourself some food. The weather is a little bit unpleasant for riding horses today. I will say that much. You know what we could maybe do? Cause I still don't want to move lots yet, I don't think. Maybe I should. No, I don't want to. I like it here too much. I don't want to move yet. Let me get rid of the tree. How about this? Let's build like a scary uh, cellar or something and we can put wine in the basement. I'll move tomorrow when we play. We'll try and focus on this place for today, but. We have very quickly outgrown it, I must say. <laughs> very, very quickly outgrown this lot. Oh, oops. I didn't paint that wall. That's really embarrassing, actually. Um, horse ranch. Oh, that's three wide. Should I use this door? I don't know. Why not? Basement. Let me get myself a ladder. Oops. Cool. Lighting. Horse ranch. Can horses enter any type of door? Um, it seems like they can go through most of the short wall height doors from what I've seen. Um, so I, I think so. Uh, one thing that I do know, and I don't have any medium walls to show you, but the short wall height barn doors the horses can walk through, um, and the medium ones your sim can ride on a horse through, because these are tall enough for your sim to be like mounted on a horse and walk into a door while still on the horse. But you can't ride a horse through the short wall height doors because you're too short. 
the, yeah, the horses can go in the house. They just can't go upstairs. Um, so if you've got stairs, they can't get, come in. But if you don't have stairs, they can. But yeah, the horses, the horses can and do go in your house. <laughs> um, let me get myself some nectar stuff. I want to buy this item. And then I can get us some nectar racks too. So we can age them. These things are so cool. Like genuinely, legitimately, these nectar racks I find so impressive. I'll show you. So you make nectar, I'm gonna save the game quickly because it is thundering. Um, but these nectar racks, basically when you make the nectar, um, you can store it in the nectar rack to age it. And then when it's aged more, it becomes worth more and more money. Um, and it's so nice because I found when I was making high level nectar and I was letting it get finely aged, I was making like, <laughs> oh my God, I was making, I was making like like uh, five thousand simoleons per bottle of the fancy, finely uh, like long age nectar. So yeah, that it's really storming. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> it is the storm is like right on top of us right now. That's real life, not the game. That's real life. <laughs> it might seem like it's in game, but no, that's outside of my house. <laughs> yeah, even my sim got scared. But look at this. So when you make the nectar, um, the nectar ages faster when it's in one of those nectar racks and even faster when it's in the basement. And something that I thought was so cool is you can see each individual bottle in the nectar rack. So you can put 13 in there and like the more you have, it fills up the whole place. It's so cool. It's so cool. So we'll leave that in there for it to start aging. Um, it's currently worth... It's poor quality, so it's worth 27 simoleons, but um, they like double, 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 double in price as they age, which is pretty cool. Um, and they end up being worth a lot of money in the end. So, do they ever go bad? Jay, I think they can only go bad once they're open, from my understanding. Gonna start making basements just to make nectar. I know. <laughs> With the combination of like the basement kit and now this nectar stuff, we have all of a sudden, we previously had zero reasons for basements and now we have so many. <laughs> I used to never make basements and now I've got plenty of reason to make them. All right, let me reassure you little friend and then we can come ride you maybe. Whoa, whoa. I just saw that flash. Oh my God. Sorry everyone. I, this is a lot. <laughs> the storm is a lot. Zarb Samzo. <laughs> Welcome to summertime in Florida. It's just gonna be like this for a while. <laughs> Can you use any fruit for nectar? Oh, I'll show you. Um, so basically when you craft the nectar, I don't have a very high skill level, so I can't make most of it. Level one, you can only make apple and grape nectar. Level two, you can make strawberry and potato. Uh, level three, you can make prairie grass and trash nectar. Level four, you can make energy nectar that requires lemons and any herb. Um, vitality nectar required. Vitality nectar uh, requires a death flower and two spinach. And then the berry and fruit nectar, you can use any berries or any fruit. Um, so there's.